Good morning, you guys. FSC Speed Shop. Today's video, we're going to start unloading. Well, actually, yesterday we started unloading, but we're going to do get the rest of the stuff off. We're going to get the generators off um, and the two marble saws off. Of course, I'm still in the rental Kenworth T660 with all the big roomy space in the back that I really don't need because I live out of my little suitcase right there. But anyway, long story short, this was Orwell's load. Orwell broke down with a busted transmission and now we are trying to go ahead, empty out this trailer and then we're gonna pick up Orwell and tow it home. But in the process, we've still got to deliver freight and make our money. So we're in a Woodmeyer Express company truck that I'm renting off the company and uh, getting ready to start unloading. One thing that's cool today is it's finally warm. It's a whole 37 degrees. We're over here in Woburn, Massachusetts. It's like a burb on the wider outskirts of Boston area in Massachusetts. And it's raining. Check this out. Like that's actual rain, not snow or ice or anything. Although last night getting here, it was icy because that plow pile right there was melting and it was making it a little difficult to get parked because every time I would turn the steering wheel, the truck would not uh, respond appropriately. But hey, that's to be expected either way. So we're waiting on the crane to show up here. It's actually a rotator boom. We've been here before. We did a different video. Although with it raining like it is, I don't see me bringing this camera out there. But um, I I got an idea for a couple of different GoPro angles, or at least one. So with that, let's get ahead and fire this beast up and get it ready to move for when uh, the wrecker gets here. Well, with that, twist to the key. Let it cycle and do its thing. I think you have to. be damned. Some subscriber left me a honey bun, two things of orange juice and a note. Alright, I'll have to figure out how to work with that. That's awesome. That's awesome. I was wondering what the heck was that. Holy crap. Oh, they pouring at least. This is the same wrecker, I think. You set up good there, or you need me to move? I'm gonna turn around, I'll be back in the oh, okay. go in there. Oh, okay. One of Jay's friends sent us a link to it. I don't know how he found it. But right? Yeah. Dude, my, my, my channel started off with just car stuff regarding my shop. And I bought my truck and I didn't think anybody in the world would wanna watch anything having to do with the truck. So I didn't put nothing on the truck. Then last summer, obviously no one was doing car shows or nothing. So uh, I threw the truck on her a couple times. All of a sudden, it started taking off. I'm like, I'll be damned. I'll give you my email address. Send me, uh, send me the video. Of the 
Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm I'm honestly right now I'm about two weeks behind because usually I only drop like four videos a week, and a, a trip back and forth takes a week. Man, that that could be three weeks of video. But I will do that though. I don't know if you can see him or not, but he's in my mirror directing me how far to back up. Okay, I don't need that on the dash. All right, dude gave me a honey bun and app of orange juice. Man, that's cool. Hmm, I wonder where those big long oak boards come from. <laughs> I use one for a build up ramp so I can drop the gooseneck, put it between the frame and the tractor when I take the gooseneck off. Yeah, we got a bunch of them at the yard too. What time, what time did you get it? Oh yes, that was like seven. Seven last night? Yeah, sometime like that. I didn't even know you were coming. I called uh Oh, okay, yeah. Things always work in reverse. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of them over there. Let me take that. Let me one. Let me one back. Yeah, I was wanting to be here Friday, but my uh, my little cab over with that antique transmission decided to not want to go through Ohio. So I went went home, bobtailed back with this, and picked the load up, brought it. You know, now I got to unload everything. And then tow my truck home so I can put a tranny in it.
right now we're going to try to escape Nardone Electric Company. This, I've been here a few times. First time I was here with you guys, I forgot how to get here. Just kind of embarrassing. I've been here before. And the way out and in is really easy. The last time there was more drama than needed to be. But I guess it made a decent video. They're like, hey, you're the YouTube guy. I'm like, yeah. He goes, where's your cab over? Uh, busted transmission. Home all story. He's like, hey, can you send me an email when you get the next video up? I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, because somebody sent him a video and it says, hey, this is uh, one of the guys unloading one of your generators. So I thought that was pretty cool. Good people. Nardone Electric Company right here in Woburn, Mass. Um, I guess they sell and deliver generators. I don't really know what exactly they do, but I bring them generators and they got a bunch of service trucks and they got obviously generators back there. So the way things are now with your power grid not being as reliable as I think it once used to be, everybody wants generators now. Personally, I think that's a pretty good idea. I know you guys know about it before I'll say anything to you and you'll see the video, but look at down in Texas. The wind turbines froze up because it's been so cold. And the solar panel, all, all them solar farms have snow and ice on them. And now the way I'm hearing it, like Dallas-Fort Worth area, you'd have rolling brownouts or blackouts because there ain't enough power. And places need power. Especially like hospitals, old age homes, and stuff like that, all your nursing homes. You know, look at my mom, my mom and my dad. They don't have, uh, you know, they're not in an old age home or nothing, but they need power, you know, they're elderly. My dad, he's got the oxygen machine with him, you know. They need power. They have a generator. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Can't guarantee the electric will stay out anymore. Not like it used to be. So yeah, I give a free plug. Nardone Electric right there. Walburn Mass. Good people, good guys. Hard workers. Of course, I'm always cool with people that know I'm filming. I mean, it's hard not to see the GoPro stuck on my head. But especially places that are real cool with it or actually encourage it, you got to support them too, you know. Classic example, I caught a lot of hate comments when I unloaded that striker at that airport, at uh, Sikorsky Airport in Connecticut. Like, oh, I just drop it on the tarmac and say, okay, it's your problem now. Oh, that's some great customer service. That'll ensure that you keep the bosses at Oshkosh Airport Products happy. I mean, really? You know, I mean, to within a point. I mean, yeah, the videos are nice, but you gotta bear in mind, the primary job here is trucking. The primary job is customer service to our customers. This isn't like showing up at a grocery warehouse and the people that work there don't wanna be, don't wanna know you, okay? These people ordered a very fancy fire truck, a real fancy generator. And they look at this car coming around on the right. I got my blinker on, so does the truck. Idiots! And they wonder why they get ran over. They really don't know. They're like, hey, let me get run over. Let the truck run me over. Because of stupid stuff like that. That's why, pal. I get it, there's two turn lanes, but the truck swings wide. Don't be an idiot. They hit the horn more so the red truck seen them. Thought I had to worry about your mirror there, pal. He came close to slapping mirrors. He was edging towards the right side of the road there. I hit the horn just so more to let the red truck know that there was a car in there rather than what's well, also the car being an idiot. But yeah, just to let the truck know also. You never know if he's paying attention either. I don't 
don't know what the weather is going to be doing. I think it should be over now as far as the precipitation frozen and or otherwise.